Hey beautiful people. So for today's dance class, I am going to teach you guys one of my favorite back stretching exercises. It builds a lot of strength in your back, a lot of back flexibility, and it helps strengthen and improve your posture. So it's basically a back articulation exercise and it is harder than it looks. And after you do it a couple times, you are definitely gonna feel sore, but if you do it every day, you will notice a huge difference in your body. Okay, so I'm sitting on my side, okay? So you can see what I'm about to do. So I'm sitting with the bottoms of my feet together, okay? Can you see that? Bottoms of your feet together. You can have them as close in as you want. It's easier to have them farther out if you're not as flexible in your hips. I'm gonna bring them in a little bit closer. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. So I'm gonna stand up nice and tall, okay? I'm gonna make sure my head is in line, the top of my head is in line with my spine. My shoulders are gonna be down and relaxed. So what I'm gonna do, lift it up in this straight position, I'm going to reach forward, keep going forward, and the goal is to keep my back as straight as possible going all the way down. So you want to go as far as you can to reaching your forehead to your toes, keeping your back straight, okay? So I shouldn't be seeing this, okay? Your back's not straight right here. So here, my back is straight and the top of my neck is reaching, so it should be a straight line, okay? I'm gonna go as far as I possibly can so notice right here, my back is starting to curve a little bit that way. So that means it's not completely straight. So I'm really gonna elongate. So notice the difference. I'm really stretching out this part of my back to make sure this is straight. And then when I absolutely cannot anymore, that's when I curve down. Whew, that in itself was work just to hold that, you guys. <laughs> Now, now that my back worked so hard to stay straight going down, it's curved and rounded here. Now I'm going to go back. Now I'm gonna reach behind my sit bones. So let me scooch up so you guys can see. I'm gonna go back. So now I'm pulling past my butt, okay? and I'm still in this rounded C position. Then from here, I'm gonna start with my tailbone, okay? I'm gonna press this forward and roll up straight. Now we're gonna do it again. You guys may only be able to get to here your first couple times doing it until uh, before you start to curve and that's okay. The more flexible and stronger your back gets, the farther you can go still keeping your back, especially your lower back straight, okay? But it takes a lot of work and you have to focus on elongating. Just imagine yourself that your head just keeps reaching and reaching longer and longer. You should feel like you're reaching on both sides of your body from down your butt and from the top of your head, okay? There should be no tension. You should feel your muscles working, but they shouldn't be tight from stress. They should just be engaged, okay? So let's do this again. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. I'm gonna reach forward. And notice, I don't keep my head up like this. I'm keeping the top of my head in line with my body, okay? As much as I can. Keep reaching until you absolutely can't and then curve down. <sighs> and relax right here. Now I'm gonna roll back again. Pressing back. 
Now I'm gonna start from my bottom and reach up into that straight position. So I'm sitting right on top of my sit bones. <sighs> now I'm sitting up straight. Now we're gonna go in reverse. So now we're gonna start going back and then curve down and reach up, okay? Let me scooch back even more so you can see this a little better. Okay, so now from here, we are going to keep this straight posture. We're gonna go back. Back, don't go that far back. Go as far as you can until you feel like you can't balance anymore, okay? But I'm still reaching and keeping my back straight. Now I'm gonna curve. Now I'm into this C position. Now I'm gonna bring that down with my forehead touching my toes or going as far as you can if you can't go all the way down. Now from here, I'm gonna take the top of my head and initiate going into that straight back position, okay? So watch. Reach. Then come up, holding the straight posture. Keeping my shoulders down, shoulder blades down and pressing together. Now I'm straight up again. Okay, let's do that again. So reach back, going straight, keeping a straight back. Curve down. Now reach straight up. Good. So, I'm sure you guys felt that in your back. You should feel it like in your mid back. If you have lower back problems, you may feel it there a little bit. Um, but that's okay. That means it's, you just need to stretch it a little bit more probably before you do this exercise. Even though this exercise in itself is stretching, but it's not just a stretch. It's actually working your muscles. So it's an actual workout at the same time. So something else I wanted to show you guys. Now for this exercise, you can just sit cross-legged like this. Well, not cross-legged, uh, what do they call this? What is this called, Indian style? That's the formal name of it. <laughs> so, sitting like this, okay? So, this is going to stretch out this part of your, your neck and also the top part of your shoulder. So, you are going to take, nice, scooch over. So, you're gonna take your hand um, how do I sit, this way or this way? So you're gonna have your palm up, okay? You're gonna take that and put that under your sit bone, okay? So I'm taking it, putting it under my sit bone. So that's the bone that you feel um, in your butt, on your, on your butt cheek. So right there, you should sit it right on that, okay? So you set that on your sit bone, palm is up, Okay, so you're setting up there. Now from here, so see how my shoulder is forcibly being pressed down. Now from here, I'm going to stretch my neck in the other direction, bending my head to the opposite side. So you should feel a definite pull and stretch from here all the way down here you'll definitely feel that stretch and if you want to add an angle to it you can start to roll your head forward a little bit uh forehead towards the corner and then go back to the side this is one of my favorite stretches for it especially these deep parts in your neck and the top of your shoulder because this part definitely gets super stressed and strained Whew. All right, let's do the other side. So, palm is up to the ceiling. 
you're gonna set sit on it right there it's pulling my shoulder down now I'm going to reach my head away from it and take deep breaths only go as far as you can never go as far to where you feel pain you should only feel a stretch if you feel pain that means you're stretching a little too far for your muscles so only stop to where you feel a stretch not not pain from here roll it forward so that your forehead is reaching to the corner this really helps stretch out your upper back okay Whew. that stretch gets me every time Whew. okay you guys so now you know one of my favorite exercises for your back i broke it down into some extreme detail because it's super important to learn these stretches correctly i think too often instructors will just tell you to stretch and show you the movement when that gives room for people to do it incorrectly and that can lead to injury and that you actually don't get the most out of the movement if you're doing it incorrectly. So it's really important to feel it out, pay attention to details, and then that's when you'll start to notice huge improvements in your body. Okay, love you guys.